Howdy, y'all. Joe Hills here, recording as I was due in Nashville, Tennessee. And welcome to Super Hostel number 12, Inferno Minds by Vetches. Now, there's some books here, Choosing Your Path and Other Notes and Unwritten by Alicia Keys. And I don't know, this one's just unkeyed by somebody who has a car that hasn't been ruined yet by somebody who likes scratching cars. Here's a bunch of rules. Press pause now if you want to read them. I've read them a dozen times, so I'm not gonna. Boom, I'm not gonna read those books either. You know why? Because I have heard from the horse's mouth. The voice of God has spoken to me. And Vetches has told me what lies in those books. There are three paths here. One to Skylight Alpha or Skylight Alphaba for those of you who like Wicked, which will take you to a lumberyard. This is a teleporter here. One to st Skylight B, or Bravo, for those of you who like cheering a lot. And that'll take you to food and a mushroom place with trees. And one to Skylight Charlie, which has a barracks and a bunch of equipment. Now, Vetches has advised me that I should take Skylight Bravo, because I am worthy of much applause. Ooh, hello, Skylight Bravo. You are very adorable. Oh, I can only sleep at night. So, I'm going to have to wait on that, I guess. Let's go ahead and hop up here. Now, unlike Vetch's other maps, he says that we're actually supposed to kind of follow his paths, because even though they may be perilous, they will at least contain the stuff we need to get by. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Flamebringer level 1. Is that trapped somehow? No. Okay, so what is on that? Flint and steel with an unbreaking enchantment and knockback one. I'll take it. You know what? I'll also take that sign. And maybe I will take this chest. Can I take this chest? Thank you, chest. Yay. So now I have a chest that I can use to store things in. Not that I really have anything to store just yet. Oh, you know what I might want to do is try and get up there. Is there a good place to hop up there at? I feel like there might be mobs up there that are just waiting to come down on my head. My sweet little head that I have so carefully prepared. Okay, I'm not going to be able to hop from there. Well, let's try going out to this way. This looks like where we should go. Got some lava here. We got a ladder. Ladders are always the safest way to travel. As long as you don't walk under them while breaking a mirror and throwing a cat that's black over your shoulder while yelling its name, which is, of course, Salt, and then talking about Macbeth. I meant the Scottish play. I meant, uh-oh. Okay, so now that we've already invoked the wrath of everyone's favorite uh, man of woman born, um, let's just go ahead and jump into the lava there with our fancy flint and steel. I guess I could be lighting fires with this, but, you know, is it really worth it? Skylight B, Amanita Cavern. Well, do, okay, so Skylight B is where I was. What's this out here? Let's just keep lighting stuff on fire. Whoa, because that can only go well for us. Where's that skeleton? Where's that skeleton? Hey, skeleton. Hey. 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 Can you guys tell that I've been talking to a baby for like the last week? I'm like, howdy, skeleton. Hey, you want to get hit with a little flint and steel? You want to get hit with a little? Okay, I'm running. I'm running. This is a bad thing. Did he die? Okay, so, anyway, what we are going to do here is we are going to quickly look down. Okay, I'm guessing that this is not the path I take. This is just a scenic overlook. Now, Vetches had warned me that there would be a lot of scenic overlooks in here that we are not supposed to necessarily bridge across. Of course, we are welcome to, as that is within the rules of the game, but, um... For Let's Players, he recommends that folks just actually proceed. Whoa. Okay. So this is only going to go poorly. So what we want the skeleton to do is shoot upward and hit the creepers, I think. Okay, this is going to go very poorly. So let's see what our other options are. We could try grabbing some of this gravel and drop it down. Okay, that's a piece of flint. No, okay, that was actual gravel. We can grab some gravel and try suffocating them. Is there anything else over here that we could possibly use? No, just a bunch of lava. I guess I could drop some lava on their heads. Let's see, a creeper and a zombie have spawned over there. What is on this? Unbreaking and knockback. So unbreaking and knockback isn't going to be enough to help me overcome that skeleton there, unfortunately. Okay, good. They seem to... Well, no, he did not despawn. He's just loitering there. 
making trouble for me. Okay, so let's see what else we can see down here. Great, so now that creeper can see us. Okay, just hit the creeper once. There you go. Now hit him, hit him again. Come on. Creeper, just blow up the skeleton. What is so hard about this? Really, Creeper. Okay, that was the worst Creeper ever to live. Okay, so we got some mushrooms over here. We're just going to have to run through this. That is going to be how we do this. We are just going to run for it. Boldly, bravely, without fear, without caution. We are going to navigate this horrified... Whoa, what was that noise? That was a zombie noise. Also a zombie noise. Also a zombie noise. A zombie noise? Hey, enjoy. Okay, so we have come to our little land of bridges and mushrooms and... So that's kind of nice. I got some food now. Ooh, what is this? Food to go? I would enjoy that. Oh. This looks dangerous. How does this work? Okay, well... I don't understand this and it looks like a trap. So, let's continue until we find food that does not look like a trap. Pussed, hey Rosie, over Mia. Since you had trouble finding it the first time, eh? Amanita Cavern, Upper Mines. So I guess this is the Upper Mines. Whoa. Or at least it goes toward the Upper Mines. Okay. So I heard a cow somewhere down there. So if I can milk a mushroom, then I would be set food-wise for a little while. Let's see if I can go back and grab some of those bowls. Oh! Wah! I was not pleased to find that that fellow there was waiting on me. Okay. Yeah, back into the flames. Fire bad. Frankenstein's worse. Yeah, that's right. Whoa. Why are the Frankensteins not dying better? That's what I want to know. Okay. So, we are just going to take some of these bowls here, and I think I can combine these in my crafting bench. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. So I'm at least not going to starve this immediate moment. Okay, good, good, good. So we can just take these little bowls here. I am freaking out without my armor and while I'm practically at low health in the first place. Mobile food rail system. I really feel like Vetches intends me to use this for something, but I don't know what and I don't care. I just want to be on my way. Oh, hey, there's a moose room. Let me try and... Did I hear a creeper fall? Hey, moose room, moose room, moose room. I'm here to get your whatever milk, soup milk. Okay, yeah, that's, uh, that's okay. You're a skeleton. We don't have to get along. We just have to, you know, leave each other forever. I'm sorry, Skeleton. You are not only dead to me, you are dead to the world. This is your great sadness, my great joy, that I can leave you behind, buried, interned, entombed even, in these great minds. But you know what they say, great minds think alike. And I think that you're a lot like a mummy, except you're not wrapped properly. You're like the burger of mummies that has not been properly wrapped. Like, you know how they wrap burgers in that waxy paper? Well, you are like that, except you are just a burger that has been left out and then buried, and I really don't know where I'm going with this, and I'm just kind of running along here. Dang it, bitches. Why did these zombies all of a sudden get really good at not running into fires? Like, now bitches said that I might not die at all in this area. Which, to me, says I'm probably going to die at all in this area. But he was confident. Oh, good, a spider. Followed by, I think something was behind the spider, too. Oh, good. Now there's a, a zombie over here. 
Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Both of you are dead to me. Both of you are dead to me. Dead to me. Dead to me. Dead to me. Dead. 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 Whoa. Away. Away. Away with him. Okay. So they're gonna keep spawn- or no, they're gonna keep jumping back up here. So we're gonna keep setting them aflame. Whoa! Okay, so these guys are problematic. That much is clear. And I think I'm standing directly on top of some spawners. So we are gonna continue our mad dash for freedom. Our paper boy route without, I don't know, houses? No. It is Sunday, is it, or is Saturday the last day of Paperboy? Okay, Tree Farm is up here. Tree Farm is a really dangerous place to play with this uh, flicky fire thing, though. What's up this way? Upper Mines, Skylight A. Well, I don't think I'm supposed to go to Skylight A. So let's go to the Tree Farm. So I came from Skylight A. So Tree Farm... Oh good, more lava. Thank you, Vetches. I appreciate the way in which you have considerately provided me precisely enough rope with which to hang myself. Ugh. Vetches is just not a nice guy sometimes. Okay. So upper mines to tree farm. Tree farm and wood storage. Probably don't want to close that behind me. What does this say? No, pick up our reserve stock of saplings from the Everforge. Jeff dropped ours in lava by mistake. So rogue lava flow has ruined our staircase. We need more stone building supplies. Reminder, please try to conserve our wood. Hmm, okay, so... Well, this will be enough for me to make basic tools, at least. That just has provided us... Oh, good, awesome. So, here we go. Boom, look at me. I'm like the Mysterious Racer X. Unbeknownst to the Mysterious Racer X... Or, unbeknownst to Speed, the Mysterious Racer X is actually his long-lost brother Rex. Okay, cool. So we got a shovel here. Got a pick. Or no, a sword. No pick. Sharpness 1, Fire Aspect th 4, Unbreaking 2. Wow, I'm really bad at Roman numerals when I haven't slept for days because of a baby. Also, by the way, guys, if you are not somebody who watches my Hermitcraft series, I had a baby with my wife. She did most of the hard work. She was in labor for like 50 hours, and now we have a baby at home with us, and this is why I have not had a lot of videos out lately. But okay, so here we go. First pick ever. Probably going to want a second pick ever. Great, okay. So we got some picks. Um, I'm going to store this extra stuff here. Grab some of the bread, I think. And I'm probably going to leave the axe, because I don't want to take the axe, just in case. Okay. So, tree farm. So, skylight A. Hmm. So, back to the upper mines. This chest, of course, you guys will recall, is the... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. <gasps> I'm so used to talking to a baby. I'm like, oh no, look at that. Look, I can use my little fic to move the blocks. Oh, I look at how I manipulate them. Oh, isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? Well, and that's not really helpful. That's not what you guys are here to listen to. You guys are here to listen to me scream about those two creepers there. As well as that skeleton there. And I'm regretting not having more arrows. Okay, so... It is time to get serious about this. Yeah, you are going down there. Okay, wait, so that's the way I came! Why would I forget he was there? That was a amateur move. Okay, so that goes to Skylight A. That doesn't seem to go anywhere. Um, Maybe I have to get down to there. Oh, hey, there's cake. That looks important. So why don't we run into the shadows where the skeletons can shoot us into the lava? That also sounds like a keen idea. Now I'm on fire. Why am I on fire? Who did that? Who did that? Okay. Does he have an enchanted bow? Oh, no. I am not keen on the amount of damage I'm taking. So I'm just going to heal here for a minute. Yeah, that's right. I hear you. I'm not going to be able to kill you particularly well from here. But I hear you. 
I know you are down there, Mr. Skeletal Fella. Mr. Felleton. Oh, you're not down there. Okay, well then I will revise my estimation of the proper course of action in this particular junction. Where did you go? There you are. Awesome. Okay, having slain that skeleton and reconsidered my course of action, I, going to Skylight A is not going to help me. So let's try going down here. Dang it. Okay, let's try going over here and figuring out Whoa, I am stuck in the middle with you. Let's get out of that crossfire, because I've got caught up in it, and that is not ideal. We want to get those two guys on either side of each other. Yeah, now they're shooting each other. That's what we want to hear. Yes, keep shooting at each other, guys. Now die at my hand. Thank you. Much better. Okay, so... Just kind of continuing to light this up since we have unlimited charges anyway. Hey, this looks important. Whoa, that looks important too. Let's pay attention to that guy. You can tell he's really bright. Away with you. Okay. So this stone up here is all decorative, which seems important. Where's that cake? Okay, so the cake is down there. And so, oh, that looks important right there. So we are just going to dig our way down here. Oh, that was less than optimal. What does this say? Old dormitories, abandoned due to rogue lava. And what does this say? In tribute to those brave beta testers who faced this area when it was heckishly difficult. Rose, Zisto, and Amloop. Amloop. Okay, so I'm thinking... Whoa, what was that? Is that a cloud layer? Oh, that was scary. And so that... Is this the way I came then? Yeah, so now I've come back full circle here, which does not exactly help. Maybe I'm supposed to go down there? Hmm. There is much to be seen amidst all that I'm seeing. Let's see. Was this an area that I've been through? It is hard to tell sometimes. Skeleton, or zombie, go away. Be on, be on fire, and then be gone. Or be both. Into, into the flames with you. Fiend, foul beast, foul creature. I banish you from the realm of the living. Enter the realm of the burned. Okay, so now that he's in the realm of the burned. Ooh, hey, this looks pretty fancy up here. Whoa, now I've glitched into a wall, now I'm fleeing. Okay, we are we are in trouble here. This, oh, creeper. Oh, creeper, oh, creeper, oh, creeper, oh. Okay, so let's, let's get out of range of all of this terrible stuff. Zombie right there, not ideal. Creeper right there, less ideal still. Okay, okay, we want to eat something. So that we can replenish our health. Oh, man. So this is going to be quite the area to explore, it seems. There is plenty to do, and I've got to get on to it. But anyway, this may be about... I think I'm probably at around the 20-minute mark, so I may as well call this an episode. Until next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring. Skeleton! No, you're not going to slay me, because I'm too awesome. Don't forget to click like and follow Radio Voice.